Sky Fire Laser. We have all you need on Fiber Laser. First, this is a uh, fixed terminal block, and we fixed as one end, and then two AC contactors and two intermediate relays on this electrode plate. And then this is our wiring terminal block divided into groups of five, mainly for connecting our live and neutral wires, providing 220 volt power. Then we use the connecting strip to secure them and tighten them securely. This is our ground terminal block. And these small ones are for 24 volt and 0 volt. Used to power our circuit boards and the screen. We also use connecting strip and to connect them and secure them. So these are paired in, uh, in grouped in pairs: and one AC contactor and one relay, and paired with the button to control our power of our water tank and laser source. And these are grouped in sets of five with left side for live wire and right side for the neutral wires. And these are ground terminal blocks. And these are 24 volt. And these are for zero volt. This one is a power supply. This is our main control card. We choose a appropriate position. And this is our solenoid valve. And this is a grounding copper plate. Secure that. And uh, oh, there is a missing hole here. So we use the electric drill to redrill it. Redrill it. Welding system with electrical panel. Next, we will start wiring. The red one represents our live wire, and the black one is represents our neutral wire. And the, the brown one is for 24 volt, and the yellow green one is for ground wire. <laughs> First, we connect our neutral and live wires. Then, we find a corresponding terminal block and a crown bit, and a one crown bit. And a one end is connected to our power supply's ACL live wire. And the other is connected to our live wire position on our terminal block. Then we take a black wire for our neutral wire. The same operation. One end is connected to our neutral position of our sub power supply, and the other end is connected to the neutral position on the terminal block. And use screwdriver to tighten them. And this is our yellow green ground wire. Connect them to the corresponding positions. 
one end to the power supply and the other is to the terminal block. The brown wire is for 24 volt. The same. One end is about to connect to our power supply. The other end The other end needs to go through our key switches. From the key switch it comes out and back to the twenty-four volt area. And the blue one is for zero volt. One end is also connected to the power supply and the other end to our zero position. Then we take a 24 volt wire from our terminal block and connect it to the 24 volt power supply on our control part. And the zero wire is connected the same way. And the ground wire Ground wire is also connect to the control card power supply. Next, we take our buttons. Uh, connect the two together. and cut off the excess and the two white ones are in the model and middle are for constant close then we take a black wire for our norm normally open part Connect to our 24 voltage area. From the other end of the normally open black wire, connect it to the brown wire of the our coil. Trim them with the terminal, and then connect it to our relays 24 volt area. We take out another button and do the same as just now, a cut off the excess parts. These two represent our laser source and the water tank power buttons control part. Next, take out red live wire and connect it to the norm normally open position of one relay at the common end. And then, then take another red live wire and connect it to the common end of another relay. This one from our normally open position is connected to the coil of this relay. Repeat the previous connection with the other relay. 
and the coil and the connect this black wire to the other end of the AC contactors or coil. This way, the two buttons of our laser and water tank control pod are wired. This is a four square life wire. It mainly serves as the power supply for our laser and water tank reflection line. So the water current requirement are higher. Try to you choose wires larger than four square. One end comes from our live wire terminal and the other end is connected to the LE. Of our AC contactor. For the new, new neutral wire should be also the same diameter as the live wire. Both should be greater than four square and the other Next take our laser welding head and the and that connects to our control card. There is a quick plug part that will be directly inserted in our circuit board. There is also a signal wire with all wiring labels marked on it. According to the corresponding control card, connect them one by one. This is our sonoid valve. The red end is connected to the control card. The sonoid valve positive area and the black is connected to our control card sonoid valve negative area. Next, takes our display screen. This display screen and our control card both have quick plug parts for both ends. Then open, choose the corresponding interface and plug it in. 